welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here with me today. I'm just gonna do a really super chill get ready with me. I've got a bunch of makeup here that I haven't used before. Like they are literally still in their plastic packaging. Grab yourself a drink, sit back, relax. Let's put some makeup on. I am actually starting off with my foundation already done. I'm testing a foundation right now. It's the Australis Stay Put Foundation. I think that by the time that this video goes up, this video will already be up. I will put links for you on the screen down below, to the side, wherever they seem to go these days. I don't know. Okay, what are we going to do first? I think I do like to just blot my face a little bit and if there's any kind of excess product, then I just like to get rid of that. So let's have a little chit chat, hey? What can we talk about? How about acne? <laughs> to start with, dive straight in. Like my skin was improving, but at the moment it's looking pretty, pretty bad. I don't really know what happened to it. I don't know if I, if I, took a tablet I wasn't supposed to, or if I ate food that I wasn't supposed to, probably ate food that I wasn't supposed to. I mean, let's be real. But there's not a whole lot that I can really do about it, you know? Like, it's just gotta settle down on its own accord. Uh, this is the Essence Cover Stick, and this is meant to be in 01 Matte Sand. Okay, let's, let's try this out. Yeah, it is covering up my dark circles a bit there. That is pretty much the same color as my foundation, so it's not, I can't really use this for highlighting or anything like that. I'm not sure if that's gonna crease or not. We'll find out, hey? I think I might just go in with my usual pressed powder. I always just use Australis. Actually, this one's a little bit darker than what I usually use. This is the darkest brown. Darkest brown doesn't seem very dark brown. Deep natural, darkest brown. Can you see the difference there? I use deep natural in the middle and I'll use the darkest brown on the sides. A few of you were asking me, what am I doing for my course? So my course is a certificate three in screen and media, and I'm just doing it at TAFE. It goes for about six months. I'm on campus every Monday, Tuesday by 8 a.m. <laughs> oh my God. I, th I think that I'll be okay. I'm just being a bit dramatic. <laughs> I always get makeup all over my chair, always. All right, now I'm gonna go into my darkest brown. I probably could have um, concealed my redness and my acne a little bit better, but that essence concealer, I can already tell it's just not that good. Take a little sip of your drink and get some of this out of your eyebrows. Now, I have used this once before and I actually wasn't huge, wasn't a huge fan. Um, I don't know what happened. It looked okay for about 10 seconds. And then when it was on my face after that, it just looked gray. This is the butter bronzer. You can get this on iHerb. So it's by Phys uh, Physicians Formula. I'm gonna go in with a Vanity Planet blush brush. I'm gonna go easy because if this stuff goes gray, I will be so disappointed. Cause I'm testing out this foundation as well. I really don't want any kind of gray weirdness happening on my face. Okay. I'm not bronzing wrong, am I? I've just like gone to town with this stuff and now it's not working. <laughs> I don't get it. Ah, maybe I'll do a little bit of blush. I'm gonna be using the Inoxa. This one is um, the Velvet Blush Powder. You can get this in Australia. Don't know if you can get it anywhere else. Uh, the Rosenberry Blush Palette, it is vegan. I'm gonna be using kind of a bright lippy today. So I think I might go with the one that's a little bit more apricot-y. Uh, and this one here, Furless, great brushes. I feel like that Concealer is really giving me amazing creases under my eyes right now. That is not a good thing. Um, yeah, so what else? Um, one of the reasons why I was really, really wanting my skin to stop freaking out, apart from just like, why would you want your skin to be freaking out anyway? Because it kind of really sucks. But as you might know, I'm gonna be going to Japan um, at the end of this month. I'm only going to be going there for a week so I can go to the Fuji Rock Festival. I am addicted. I am 
I think I am addicted to that festival. It is so good. But I wanted my skin to be looking its best because I didn't want to be wearing makeup like on my trip, except for in Tokyo. Like I'd dress up for Tokyo, but for a festival, excuse me, three day festival where you are just going to be walking and sweating. I didn't want to be wearing makeup. Now I have to. All right, I wanna go in now with this palette here. This is another Inoxa product eyeshadow palette. Use a couple of fluffy brushes and I might just scooch in a bit. I'm first of all just gonna go in with the lightest shade, glittery beige under my eyebrow. So yeah, Fuji Rock. I don't know if, do any of you guys ever go to music festivals? Because I bloody love them. I really, really love them. It being Aussie, you might think, oh, well, why the hell aren't you just going to go to Splendor? I feel like I would not want to see as many of the acts at Splendor as I do at Fuji Rock. And my absolute favorite artist of all time, Björk, <laughs> she's going to be at Fuji Rock this year. I am bloody excited. When I saw that she was on the lineup, I just immediately went, that's it. <laughs> I'm going to blow all my money and I'm going to go. <laughs> I totally just realized that I was gonna put eye primer on. I can still do that. Cause I'm, I'm, I can still do that. I will still do that. Um, I'm just using a slightly darker shade here just in my crease. So I haven't actually put any on my lids yet. All right, so I'm gonna go in with, oh, why is this all yuck? So I'm undoing the packaging on this NYX pencil. It's like it's got lip gloss. That's what it feels like, but I'm taking off the plastic. There's clearly no lip gloss on this. Don't know, don't know. It's been a really long time since I used NYX and I'm not a huge, huge fan of using NYX. I think they've got an evil parent company. It's really hard to navigate the cruelty-free slash vegan waters. What am I gonna do next? I'm just gonna go in with fingertips on my little Inoxa. Did any of you ever see that um, Simply Nanologica video where she was talking about these kinds of things, like the, the sponge tip applicators and actually how much better they are at applying your makeup. It came out a while ago. I don't know, I think that we all got really obsessed with brushes and I'm still obsessed with brushes. I bloody love using brushes. But it is true, like when I apply eyeshadow using my fingertips, the pigmentation is so much stronger. Okay, I'm gonna go in with like a little pencil brush here and a bit of this brown color and just go along my lash line, top and bottom. Now I'm gonna go in with a product that's definitely not, as far as I know, it's not cruelty free and definitely not vegan, the Lorac Pro palette, just because I wanna use the black shadow. I'm gonna use that just along my upper lash line, line my eye. Oh, I stabbed myself in the eye and it went thick. And so they both ended up thick. All right, I'm gonna do a bit of my brows now, add a little bit of color to them. I don't know why my brows are so gappy. So weird. Like they're, they're thick and they're long, but they're gappy. I really wish that I had those perfect Instagram brows. Although then I think, they probably paid for those. <laughs> like they're probably all just feathered on. It's like that, is it like when you go on Instagram and you see all of these perfect pictures of girls especially, and it looks like they're living a perfect life, but they're not. They're hustling so hard and they're face tuning the shit out of themselves on Instagram, it's crazy. I do use things like, like I brighten things up and I might add more contrast and that kind of saturation and things like that. Pretty basic, but I don't, I don't try and change the, the, the shape of myself. If you do it all the time and you're acting like that is exactly who you are and exactly what you look like, it's, isn't that a lie? There has to be an element of truth in your pictures. Don't face tune away your truth, guys. Consider that your little truth bomb for today. Don't face tune away your truth. Because people know, they notice, especially if they see you out in the wild, they know. God, I feel like I really need to pee. 
sitting here for so long. Oh, maybe I do because I have been drinking that much water. <laughs> no, I'm gonna power through. Try not to wet my pants. Oh God, now that I've said that, now I really need to pee. Oh, damn it. Think of a desert. Think of a desert. Okay, next new product that I haven't used before, Glam Eyes Eyelashes. And I actually don't know which ones these are because guess who got rid of the packaging? I'm just gonna put these on off camera because I also really need to go pee. <laughs> I decided my bladder is not going to let me sit here for this long and finish this tutorial without letting it go. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to put my lashes on and be back in just a second. <laughs> for some reason, the corner can't do it. So I've accepted that it's just not going to work and I'm just going to move on. I am now going to go on with a mascara that I haven't used before. It's still in its plastic packaging. This one is the Natio Extreme Volume Smudge Proof Mascara. Oh, I feel like my eyelashes are not on properly. Ugh, really, really hate that eyelash now that I'm looking at it. This one went on fine. Like this one, it was just like, boop, done. No problem. It's in there. This one, Fifth application, still can't get it on properly. I don't know what's going on. This is the one product that I've been kind of excited to give a go. This is the Savvy by DB, long wearing lip liner. And this is just kind of a clear lip liner that you can use with any lipstick. Oh, my lips are so dry. They were right before. We're almost there guys, We're almost there. Australis Velour Lips, this is their matte lip cream and this one is in San Fran Disco. Oh, it smells, it smells like bubble gum. This is why I didn't want to put a whole lot of color on my eyes because I knew there was going to be a whole lot happening on my lips. <laughs> wow, I just looked in the viewfinder. <laughs> Holy crap, this looks fluorescent. It is not fluorescent in real life, guys. It's bright, it's bright orange, but it's not fluorescent. Holy crap, that's really weird. Makes your teeth look a little bit whiter. But it's not fluorescent. That's weird, that is so weird. Guys, it's not fluorescent. I swear to God, it's not fluoro. All right, my battery's flashing at me, so I best be out of here. Thank you so much for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed this thoroughly kind of chilled out video. Thanks for throwing a little thumbs at this video as well. Thank you so much for giving me so much love and support, and I hope to catch you all next time. Have a fantastic rest of the day, guys. See you all later. Bye. <laughs>